Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fada and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for October 30th, 2016. So, happy Halloween for everybody who's celebrating. And we have a new moon in the sky, new moon in Scorpio. We have a lot of Scorpionic energy in the sky right now. What does it all mean, especially with a new lunar cycle? Well, whenever you have a, a lot of Scorpionic energy in the sky, it's a time that we become more consumed with the inner mechanism within us. With, my, with what makes us tick. We, be, we become more introspective and aware of the mechanisms and the apparatuses and the, the, all the conditions that make us behave in a, diff, in a certain way. The past experiences that we've had, the traumatic ones, and how they affected our current behavior and our needs and our wants and our cravings and our fears and our anxieties and our protect protective mechanisms that help us prevent going through traumas that we've gone through before and protect us within our relationships and within us with our interactions with other people so we look within ourselves and we understand better what makes us stick we understand better why we are the persons we are and why we behave the way we do, why we want the things we want, why we aim for certain goals and aspirations, why we need people to think that we are X or Y or Z, why this is important for us. Our need for power, our need for love, our need for feeling wanted. So this is all Scorpio. And once we understand our inner sphere better, consciousness sips in. And when consciousness sips in, we change. It takes time. Our emotional body takes a lot of time to change, but the process starts. And as a result of that, we evolve and we change the way we behave in the future through understanding, through recognition. So it's a process of maturing. It's a process of evolution. As I say in every new lunar cycle, be aware of the energies you put in yourself and you take out. Because whatever is caught in that sponge will stay with you for the next lunar cycle of 29 and a half days. Other than that, if you are in Central Europe today, then in the morning we'll have a square to Vista. This is a time that we could feel like we would like to be involved in things that we care about or enjoy more than the things we have to do right now, more than the chores and responsibilities we have on our shoulders. But as, as the morning progresses, this fades away. And by the evening time, we already have a conjunction to Mercury and a trine to Neptune. And that's a great aspect because it helps us uh, communicate both emotionally and mentally, cognitively, in much easier fashion. And the trine to Neptune makes us all more empathic and softer and much more imaginative and creative and maybe romantic even. So there's a lot of beautiful sensitive energy flowing there in the sky and that's great, especially if we're in a creative endeavor, in an artistic endeavor, in something that requires both imagination and our cognitive abilities. Other than that, in the night time in Europe, that's already evening time in the United States. Um, and if we're talking about the trine to Neptune and the conjunction to Mercury, that's going to be from noon time onwards, Eastern Standard Time in the States. And later on in the evening, Late night in Europe and evening in, in the States, there's beautiful angles to the nodes. This is generally a beneficial time emotionally, and that's great. Other than that, in the sky, Venus is conjunct Saturn. This is the money time regarding everything concerning our relationships, the way we draw in funds in our lives, and satisfaction. It's a time that we see things as they are and start accepting it and dealing with it. This is a process of maturation and taking responsibility and working within the rules that constitute our reality. 
I want to thank you for listening. This is everything for today. This is Boaz Fighter. Goodbye.